Hello YouTube friends, I just want to show you my GTRV. I just got back from biking the trails here at the Ray Roberts Lake State Park. It was beautiful. Such a nice state park. I'll show you here real quick. This is the air, air conditioner pipe that is blowing out hot air. And I have the air conditioner on today because of course you know what it is. It's in Texas. So here is a plug-in for the 330 amp I mean just the 30 amp service over here and um, when you look also on the top of the van you can see solar panels those solar panels power the refrigerator which keeps everything super cold it's like you could keep this is ice up here so it's very good and very efficient here I have the bed made out and you can, this place can sleep even four people. There's two on the bottom, and if you put the boards on the top, it'll sleep two more. We have um, solar-powered lights here and here. The curtains are snap-in curtains such as this here. We can see the snaps just snap right in. It's a great system for any, any kind of camper. Uh, we, have, of course, have DC power and AC power. And underneath the seat, we have two lithium batteries that powers while I'm driving. So this thing has a lot of power. The other thing that's exciting is, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little thing right here. This is the heater. This is a special heater that uses hardly any gas. It's like the truck driver's heaters. It keeps the place toasty warm. I, my sister and I were in here camping and it was 39 degrees and we were toasty warm and I had the lid popped up. So of course you see the lid pops up and all you do is just, you can pull it down with the handles. It is, it's just simply pop it up and tuck all the fabric in and then latch it down. And then you have a safety latch here, a seat belt. Okay, that's all I was. I guess I show you my air conditioner. This is, of course, in Texas is what you have to have. This is a Trip Light SR Cool 2K WM air conditioning unit, usually for use for uh, keeping closets cool for software or hardware and computer components. My son found this for me. Of course, he's a tech guy, and and it works perfectly. It did have a different pipe. But this is working really good. I just put a little insulator around it, and this is a very small drain pipe. It did have the AC uh, draining pipe or AC venting pipe, but it's a lot. Of, it takes up a lot of space. This takes up less space. Okay, people, um, this has been a great thing. I use this um, dozen pot when I fold the bed up and plug it into here and cook on top of the counter, and I have some great eggs. It has a 600 watt and a 300 watt. Let's see, what is that? Yeah, it's 150 watt and 60, 600 watt. So it doesn't use all that much watts, but this, I think the camper is ready for a thousand or more watts. Okay, um, all right, I just wanted to show you in the front, you see it has curtains put in all around. Of course, I took some of those off and Anyway, I uh, just thought you'd like to see it. It's pretty fun. I've had a blast at it. I went to about 36 state parks and a lot of Corps of Engineer parks. Okay, um, have a great day. I guess I'll show you how the bed is folded up. I can show you that. Uh, you just, I just roll this back. It's just this simple. The only thing is I gotta turn the air conditioner off because I, I had to unplug it. And so I'm unplugging it, lifting, and folding this up. and. Voila, now you have a kitchen. Whoops, sorry about the break in the video. Okay, anyway, here's the kitchen. Now, you see, we have just the simple chair, and here you see the toity. That is just a Ziploc pouch, and don't tell anybody, but that's my bathroom. <laughs> don't have to do anything major in it, though, just emergencies. Okay, have a great day.